Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm Skyline, and I want to talk about my top 5 picks for Warrior in the support role. Yeah, I do think there's many roles in this game that can be played in multiple positions, as we've already seen with the meta, even up to competitive, where like assassins are even getting played as supports. So yes, I do think it's possible, and these are legit- like, this is legitimate, guys. It is my personal opinion, true, but I, I do think that these are actual legitimate picks that you can do in ranked, have fun with, and also still be successful. So, want to start off the list with Ganyu. Yeah, you guys have probably, I've already seen Guan Yu play to support a little bit, he, a little bit popular. I mean, for the off meta kind of gods, yeah, you might see some Guan Yu. Uh, that's probably because his heal will actually AoE. It's an AoE heal, heals other people, and when he does so, it reduces his other cooldowns by two seconds. So yeah, you're gonna wanna be spamming your heal so that you give your partner a little bit more sustain. So yeah, in the solo lane, that's a little bit wasted. However, he really shines in the team fight stage. He really wants to get to that moment. And before you get your ultimate, laning is just freaking awkward. And yes, he can be aggressive, but he has to really sit in the fights. And until you actually build tanky, it's just really awkward in the laning phase, so if you aren't careful, one mistake could spell disaster. And at number 4, we have Sun Wukong who has multiple forms of CC, which you always want in a Guardian, so he can peel just a little bit, and also he can peel for himself. He can transform into a bird, or he can transform into a tiger or an ox for a form of CC, either a knock-up or a stun. Though if you turn into the tiger, do note that if you run into a creep, then it will actually stop your ability and it's just kind of wasted, so yeah. His ultimate as well creates a decoy, which is pretty cool, but in the duo lane, which is almost always rampant with hard CC, that'll actually destroy the decoy instantaneously and that'll completely ruin your ultimate. It'll make you drop out. Otherwise, you can actually sit in your ultimate and regen health and then rejoin the fight, and it does kind of a big splash damage. However, none of your abilities, even your ultimate's really gonna do that much damage because you're playing support, you don't, can't really afford tank items, can't really afford damage items. So half of Wukong's passive is kind of just a lost. You get crit chance, okay? So you're not really utilizing that. Maybe later on, but yeah, you're not really utilizing that part of his kit. But basically, as Sun Wukong loses health, he actually gains defenses, I mean, as well as crit chance. So essentially, you just want CDR and health and to be as annoying as possible in team fights. But you can also make some really good ganks if you're really good. At number three on the list, we have Odin, which is I think is a great support, mainly because of his ultimate. Sure, laning is going to be a little bit awkward, and he does get really mana hungry, but his ultimate is so great in teamfights. I mean, it is the wombo combo ultimate. It literally synergizes with like every single god. However, he's not higher on the list because if you actually build him with a little bit of physical penetration, his attacks can do a huge amount of damage. Not auto attacks, but his full combo with the leap and the shield explosion is just intense. So he is very bursty and you are gonna play like that in lane as well. You are either gonna go in, go ham, or you're gonna fail miserably. So it does require a good bit of teamwork. But if you can get ahead, if you can snowball with Odin, also, having a support that can actually leap over walls is pretty huge. That means you can have a really strong roamer, almost essentially like you can have a second jungler. But he is kind of one-dimensional, super predictable, and incredibly foretelling. You basically either 2-1-3 or 1-3 and then 2 and walk away. So it's probably best if you do play him as a roamer. And at number two on the list, we've got Hercules. Now, Hercules as a warrior is super strong. Hercules as a character in general is just like this really uh, indomitable god. Hercules is kind of a pub stomper because if you don't know how to counter him, he's just like a nightmare and he's just unstoppable. <laughs> but let's talk about what makes him a really good support. Now, for one, the ultimate is entirely damage oriented. It doesn't do any other effects other than damage. But the fact that it is a giant boulder, you can actually use that as a zoning tool. Plus, the damage that it has doesn't really scale that well, but it has huge base damages. This is very indicative of a support character. So because it does such huge damage and it takes up such a big area, you can split entire team fights. You can deflect g entire ganks. So it actually does have somewhat of a little utility to it, even though it's not specifically a CC. But then he also does have CC in his kit. He has a knockup that doesn't just knock people up, it actually knocks them in an arc around Hercules, so you can use these to position ganks. As well, he has a tackle which pushes people into a direction, so you can orient different ganks, you can deflect ganks, or you can just use it as a dash to get away. He's got a regen steroid ability, and overall his base stats are pretty tanky, so he doesn't need items. Sure, the items are going to make him stronger, but the items that you're going to get as support anyways are actually really strong on him. Yeah, mana dependent, but then again, he is either all in or all out. So just don't spam your abilities and don't miss them, and you'll be good to go. And at number one, it's gotta be Bologna, dude. Bologna's like my favorite god in the game. She's just so well-rounded, she can be played in pretty much everywhere, just evenly across the board. She does pretty freaking fantastic. But what makes her a really good support is the fact that her number three has a disarm. And disarming hurts the most. Yeah, you guessed it, hunters. It hurts hunters, man. If you disarm somebody, they can't auto-attack. So you basically insta-win the trade, especially if you can disarm both in the lane at the same time. Then after that, you can get lifesteal. Well, it's not technically lifesteal, but you get life on hit with the Scourge. 
from there number three number two is really good for wave clear and as well it just works as kind of like a bursty damage aoe dealer number one is a slight dash with a conal slow directly afterwards which is pretty good for chasing down people and her ultimate is just like really supporty of course many warriors have many supporty elements to them but Bologna really goes above and beyond she leaps down and slams down her banner which then stuns whoever that hits and then gives buffs to everyone inside that aura around the banner similarly to many of the other warriors on this list you play her extremely aggressive but Bologna truly rewards aggression so much she snowballs out of control and overall she's just really fun to play because of the balance that her entire kit brings even as a support you can build her and play her in multiple ways even with limited golden gum it's that flexibility that probably makes her a really great support yeah, so that's it. That's my top five of warriors that you can try to have fun with in the support role. Generally, though, remember guardians play support for reasons such as warriors tend to have a huge reliance on mana. Yeah, and you get mana buff in the solo lane. So uh, there are a couple of ways to circumvent this, especially with the way the meta is shifting. Maybe, and you know, you don't need hand of gods anymore. Maybe you can actually go get meditate or something crazy like that. Who knows? I think there's a way you can make it work. And most of all, these are the top five that I think will probably work the most often for the most amount of people. So go have fun and I'll see you guys in the arena.